Hey there, this is one up Indy, and today I'm going to show you in this video tutorial a really nice way to do a quick save in Game Maker Studio. And that is actually very very easy to pull off, but that stuff just works in Game Maker Studio temporarily. So for example, if you just completely close the game, the save file I guess is gone. I didn't really test it because well, it's just a quick save, but you can do a lot of cool things with it. So this is one up Indy. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Source and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you are new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every two days a new video. Let's get right into the meat of it. So basically I have this thing, this cool little Mac and I press S to make this quick save and then I press L and bam I'm getting transported to the original position. So I guess this is a temporary thing. And you can just, uh, well, have a snapshot of a position and you just get instantly dragged back to it. Then for example, if you change the room, this is the second room, and I press again L, whoop, I'm getting transported to the original position. I don't know how far this um, quick saving and loading goes, saving, but don't use it for, let's say, long-term saving. That's a different thing. So how does this work? quite easy. We have our little player here and you just do on the LS first of all game save then it just automatically creates this one. This is just the default so if you press F1 I just copy pasted that bam it creates this temporal variable and then you press L you kind of load that thing and that's it. Nothing more to it if you wanted to see some really elaborate and, uh, well, interesting code, well, <laughs> I don't have any, that's it. So, hopefully that was interesting to you and useful. Have a good one. One up, Indy.